Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or on the internet. In this episode of Sunday Reflection segment, we present the homily for the fifth Sunday of Lent based on the liturgical readings of the age cycle. The readings of the fifth Sunday of Lent dwell on the theme, Jesus, our resurrection and life. Christy L. Nelson, in her book, From Near Death to Dynamite, includes this real-life story as narrated by Dr. A. L. Jenkins, an emergency room doctor for 45 years in Knoxville, Tennessee. Dr. Jenkins recalls that one man was dead on arrival in the emergency room. As it was his practice, he attempted resuscitation on this man. After 15 minutes of CPR, the previously dead man began to show signs of life. The man sat up, looked around him, and then said to Dr. Jenkins, Oh, I wish I was still out there. It was beautiful. He would never explain what he meant, but only repeat that the place he had been was so beautiful, so beautiful. Scientists attempt to explain the so-called near-death experiences in terms of chemical changes in the brain. Whatever may be the explanations given to these near-death experiences, they affirm what Bible teaches us about life beyond the grave. There will come a time in everyone's life when the doctors can do nothing more for us. Our body gives out and we die. But somewhere on the other side, Christ will call us by name and say to come out, and we will be raised to a new life, a life after death, a resurrected life. The liturgy and the readings of the fifth Sunday of Lent invite us to reflect on the death and resurrection of Jesus and find in it the hope of our own resurrection after our death. The first reading is taken from the book of Ezekiel. In this passage, Ezekiel, a priest of the temple of Jerusalem, deported to Babylon after its fall to Nebuchadnezzar in 586 BC, narrates his vision of the valley of dry bones being given life and uses this vision to give a sense of meaning and hope to the exiled Israelites. Being exiled and enslaved in a foreign land, the situation of the Israelites was like that of a valley of dry bones, without meaning and purpose, joy and happiness. Through Ezekiel the prophet, God promises them liberation from slavery and restoration of the nation of Israel, which would be like their being raised from their graves and returning to new life. They will experience new life that springs forth from God's own spirit. The Lord assures them that nothing, including death, can stop him from carrying out his plans and promises because he, the Lord, has spoken it and he would perform it. Hence, Prophet Ezekiel urges the devastated nation and its people to have faith in God and look beyond their catastrophic situation to a future that vindicates God's justice as the Lord is always faithful to his promises. In the second reading taken from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, St. Paul reassures the Roman Christians who have been facing persecution and death of a future resurrection to a life of unending glory for all those who, during their life on earth, have been loyal to God and His Son, Jesus. This coming resurrection is won for us by the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. 
Hence, St. Paul advises the Roman Christians and us to allow the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from his death and who dwells in us to renew and sanctify us, thereby makes us eligible for resurrection. We have received the Spirit of God at our baptism, and He dwells within us. He will enable us to rise up from the grave of the flesh and allow us to live the life of the Spirit, which is a life of intimacy with the triune God. The empowering action of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit given to us in the life of the Spirit entitles us for a life of resurrection after our death. In the Gospel, St. John, through the miracle story of Jesus raising of Lazarus from death, communicated three important truths. Firstly, this miracle story showed Jesus as a wonderfully sensitive human being. His profound love for Lazarus and his sisters and the quality of their real-life friendship were so beautifully displayed. Jesus felt with the sisters at their loss and expressed his real feelings openly by shedding tears with them. Secondly, this miracle story manifested that Jesus was the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God, and through faith in him, believers will receive eternal life. Thus, Jesus wanted to make his last recorded miracle a convincing demonstration that he was what he claimed to be, the Messiah sent by God to give eternal life to anyone who believed in him. Thirdly, this miracle story presented Jesus' divine power over death itself because Jesus as the suffering servant paid his life as a ransom for the sins of the world by his suffering and death on the cross and as the resurrection and life made possible for us our own resurrection after our death. On this fifth Sunday of Lent, the readings and the liturgy call us Firstly, to believe and proclaim Jesus as our resurrection and life. The near-death experience of his patient described by Dr. Jenkins of Knoxville, Tennessee, affirms what Bible teaches us about life beyond the grave. We all have to face the moment of our death and the threshold of what's out there when our earthly life ends. It is important for us to believe that somewhere on the other side, Christ will call us by name and say to come out, and we will be raised to a new life, a life after death. Hence, today's liturgy invites us to believe in Jesus as the source of our life after death and our resurrection. He has the power to forgive us and to give us eternal life. Believing and proclaiming Jesus as our resurrection and life enables us to be ready for the resurrected life Jesus will give us at our death. Secondly, the liturgy today calls us to open our life to Jesus, our resurrection and life. There may be many darker areas in our private life such as slander, gossip, envy, prejudices, hatred and uncontrollable anger that bind us in the tomb of despair. Similarly, we may be in the tomb of selfishness, giving ourselves to anxiety, worry, fear, resentment and guilt. We need to open these darker areas of our life to Jesus, our resurrection and life, particularly through the sacrament of reconciliation, and let Jesus open the graves of our selfishness and sin and lead us from darkness to light, from death to life, and from mortality to immortality. Finally, the liturgy today calls us to be ready to welcome death at any time. Death is a certain happening in each of our lives, yet we do not know how and when it is going to happen. This should not make us fearful. Instead, we must with a clear conscience joyfully wait for the Lord to come whenever he chooses while living our life in the best possible way. As we move into the fifth week of Lent, 
Let us acknowledge Jesus as our resurrection and life. Open the dark dimensions of our life to him and make our everyday living a continuous preparation for our final meeting with the Lord in death. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.